Hello everybody, it is Swing Jam of X Trades, and today I want to make a video about breakout stocks versus pullback stocks. So I don't, haven't really seen this topic cover a lot in the server, and I think it's a very important one for newer traders to realize that all stocks are not created equal. Some are going to be very, you know, easy to trade in breakouts, and those are usually, you know, tech stocks or high growth stocks while other stocks are meant to be back at pullbacks. The breakouts aren't as clean, it's more choppy, you know, the follow through isn't as good, and these are usually more industrial or metals type of assets. You know, it's not always as clear cut as that, but it's important to realize what type of stock you're trading before you trade it. So for example, Zim at the IPO stage was a pretty good breakout stock. You had some ranges with a breakout, ranges with a breakout, and as time went on, these breakouts started to you know, not work as well and they start to become more choppy and not as reliable. And especially past this uh, September top, I mean, most of these breakouts got one or two follow through days and then just immediately rejected. This is a very hard stock to trade for breakouts and it's not really gonna work for you. If you compare this to something like LEU, I mean, this is a, a, this is a uranium company, but once it breaks out of the range, I mean, these rallies are really clean and there's plenty of examples of clean breakouts from uh, nice tight ranges. These are the type of stocks you're trying to buy as a breakout trader. Usually these are very linear, they're very easy to read, they're not very choppy. Something like Wolf is not a breakout stock. This is very, very choppy, it's hard to trade. As a breakout trader, you're probably going to get stopped out. They're very easy for someone to get washed out. So understanding which stocks you should be playing and to kind of correlate with your trading style, I find is very, very important. The next aspect that it relates to breakout versus uh, pullback uh, trading is market conditions. So for example, if you look at something like ASAN, you know, during the second half of 2021, this saw a lot of rotation and the breakout's very clean. We had one down here at $30, another one at 37 This one wasn't as clean, but it still had some good follow through at 86 And finally, once we got towards October and November, specifically at the later half of the year, we saw that a lot of these breakout trades weren't working. So in stocks like ASN, when you see this trend of having a lot of you know four, five, six good breakouts, and then these start to fail, that's a very good sign that most likely there's gonna be some sort of a larger market shift. And you can even look at something like ON, right? We had a nice range here, we had the breakout, and then we had another failed breakout and a quick pullback. You know, same thing could be said for something like NET, extremely high relative strength stock, tried to form sort of a range and wasn't very clean and started making lower lows. And a lot of these, you know, high growth stocks started topping in more of the November, uh, December range, giving some indication that there's market weakness. So correlating general market conditions along with the type of stock you're trading is really gonna give you a large edge. The last thing I wanna cover is something like DE. This is more of a, a more special and nuanced situation. But this is a type of asset that's gonna have let's say four to five years of consolidation, and then one to two years of rallying. So we really had a range from 2011 to 2016, and we had a two year rally, from 2018 to 2020, and then a one year rally. We could see the same type of action in gold. Uh, we had a large range from 2013 to 2019, then we had a large rally, and then you know uh, t the mid of 2020 to around you know, the start of 2022, and then we had it where you know, we're probably gonna have another rally here, then in my opinion, We'll hit at least uh, 2200 but these are some things that you should be considering you know when you're taking breakout trades versus pullback trades and having the stocks in general market conditions line up with your trades and this should greatly help improve your win rate so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great trading week